Hello, hello. I am three minutes late. I am sorry. If you're watching, um, please say hello. Welcome to Chocolat One. My name's Beth. I'm a designer with Chocotour. And a fun project for you today is probably going to be pretty quick. Hey, Mike, how are you? Um, your RV is looking good. Um, we started this project a week ago or so. And uh, we used, I haven't glued these on yet, but we tried using gold leaf with Mod Podge, a little dragonfly. And they came out pretty good. Hi, Michelle Shamrock. They came out pretty good, but I had a really hard time getting that gold leaf to stick to um, the acetate paper. So, um, and this was the sign that we did, Explore, Dream, Discover. We did get a little bit of the gold leaf on there. If you don't know what gold leaf is, it is um, a very, very thin, almost tissue paper type um, gold <laughs> um, or metallic, metallic paper. It comes in little squares like this. And um, you can see there's three different colors in here. There's gold, silver, and copper. So what we're going to do today I need to say things first, don't I? Um, if you're watching, comment hello. Um, if um, you would please smash those heart buttons for me, the little red heart down at the bottom. And most importantly, sprinkle this or share this to your other DIY crafty friends. And I'll wait for it to come up over here. Let's see if I can find it. Might not comes up sometimes it comes up after a little while and I hope I'm on my business page I don't really know I think that's where you found me maybe not I don't know it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can sprinkle this whoops the um, iPad is not wanting to stay put for me today over here I think I have to tighten some screws down went to work today so I'm a little bit domestic and a little bit worky. Um, I, saw, I got to see my two patients and um, meet up with one of our social workers that I don't get to see very often, so it was fun to see Lori. Yeah, so I'm a little uh, rambled, I think. Crambled, scrambled, one of those words. This was the beautiful etched books transfer. These are silkscreen reusable transfers. So today we're going to do the butterfly. So I'm going to take this off of here. And we're going to use um, acetate paper first to um, transfer the, the design onto it. So let's get a piece of that out. There we go. So this is what acetate paper is. This is the one I have. And I just get this um, online, so you can look for that. It's not too hard to find. And it is just a, like a clear plastic sheet. So, so this is plastic, so that means that we need to fuzz our transfer pretty darn good so we don't stretch it. I've used it quite a bit already, so we will um, probably just have to fuzz it once or twice. Twice feels good, it's not very sticky, but it's gonna stick really good to this plastic paper. And I'm just gonna put it right up here in the corner. And I'm going to do this, we're going to etch this in black, and then we're gonna turn it over, fill it in with um, a couple of paste, a couple of paints, and then we're going to apply the, uh, um, the, what's it called? It is called Gilding Adhesive. And this was the ticket, you guys. That made all the difference. Okay, so let me open this paste up. Brand new. Grab a squeegee. How's everybody's day going today? Having a good day. Do 
Just take your paste and pull it over your design. Pretty simple. Skim it down, get all that excess paste off of there. Put that back in your jar and close it up. Now we're going to pull this off. There's our butterfly. I'm going to squirt this down really quick just so I preserve my transfer. You want to take good care of these transfers. They're an investment for you. And they'll last you 12 or 14 times with good care. And um, usually longer than that even. So now we just need to dry this. <clears throat> Go over here so I can see comments in the upper 70s there. It is um, probably in, it might have been low 70s, high 60s today. It was actually cool this morning. It rained a lot. Hi, Irene. Hi, Patricia. fun project. Um, I got the gold leaf on mine also. I ended up, I didn't realize there was that many sheets in there, but I have a lot of gold leaf there. You just want to make sure it's really dry because we're going to flip it over and fill in with paint and gold leaf. I think that's probably pretty good. You can use this heat set tool on this acetate paper. I think I think people I didn't I never did card making, but I think people did even embossing on that. So it, it can take a pretty high heat. So there's our isn't that pretty? You see maybe here you can see it better against lighter color. It just looks so pretty like that even. So let me get my little um yeah, let me get my little scissors little tiny craft scissors and we're just going to cut out around it not perfectly yet we'll get to that get to where we trim it up really good i kind of got excited when i first started um exploring this um so I started thinking about all the fun things you could make with gold leaf. I'm going to set it on this piece of paper. So I think what we'll do first is we'll put our paint on first. Let me make sure it's dry it is. So flip it over so the pasted side is down. Now I can see where I want to put color. I have a couple of little paint brushes here. And I chose some, um, this is, what's this called? Deep Burgundy, and I have some pumpkin. And we'll probably put, um, we'll probably put gold, maybe some yellow in there would be better. Let me get some yellow instead of that deep burgundy. Or we can use all three. Maybe we'll do that. <clears throat> Get a little color tray here and <clears throat> put a couple of, oops, not that much, a couple of little dots of this paint on there. It's easier than dipping into the bottles. Just takes a tiny, it just takes a few drops. Oops, I haven't used this one yet. I just get these craft paints um, usually at Walmart. Every time I go, I just go and cruise the <laughs> cruise the craft aisle and uh, see if they have any new colors. I just add to my collection as I go. And that's pretty. I'm 
And this is this is a deco art. I tend to I tend to like the deco art brand. All right, we're gonna take a little tiny, little tiny paintbrush. See the tip on it, and we're gonna just start kind of filling in here. We're gonna leave um, we're gonna leave some of the spaces open so we can put the gold leaf in there. jars of water over there. Let's rinse that off. Let's put a little yellow in here. And we don't want it, we don't want it all filled in because we do want, you know, that gold leaf to have a place to go. And if you go over the if you go over the edge, it doesn't matter because you're going to cut that off anyway. I'm trying to stay a little bit symmetrical because um, I think I th kind of I do think that the butterfly wings are pretty symmetrical. Mix the colors a little bit. Get a little variation in there. Oops, paintbrush was a little bit too wet. Okay, I think, oops, get those. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these little zigzags and some of that uh, more open. So, like I said, so we can get the gold leaf. So let's dry this really good first. There's one area there where the paintbrush was a little bit wet. Let me see if I can absorb a little bit of that water there. chalk con for me. No. It wasn't in the it wasn't in the stars this year. <clears throat> Maybe next year. I hope so. But I'll be thinking about all of you there. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the Facebook posts and seeing all the happy faces. I'm gonna push this down really good. 
Okay, that feels dry. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the front. Let's see here. So it's even pretty with just the paint on it. But that, um, that gold leaf, it takes it up a notch. To make sure I got it the right way, we want the pasted side down and the painted side up. Okay, so now we're going to use this. Let me see if I can find my special little brush they sent me to. Put it in here. I swear I cleaned this craft table off. Um, there it is. Like every other day, and it just builds up so fast. Thanks, Stephanie. Okay, so again, this is called gilding glue. I bought this, and it came with this little brush, and that's what we're going to use to put the, um, not this on, but to put, to press down the gold leaf and then to brush it off. <laughs> so let's get another paintbrush for the gilding. I like this one. It's kind of got a point. I think I trimmed it. <laughs> Reminds me kind of when I trim my own bangs. I tried doing it the other day. I just took a fraction of it. Do you ever trim, try and trim your own bangs? It's probably not a good idea, but it's so hard to get into the salons here. All right, I'm just going to take some off of the little paper thing. And we're going to, I'm going to put it all over this little butterfly. It's like Mod Podge, but it's, um, it is, I don't know, it's a different, it's a different sticky quality because it's a little tacky when it dries. And that's the secret. I couldn't get, I couldn't get the gold paper on fast enough with the Mod Podge, it just dried out too much on me and it wouldn't stick. All over there. Like I said, if we go over the edge a little bit, that's okay because we're going to trim that up anyway. All right. And it, does, it doesn't take very much at all. Gold leaf for days. And I saw something online recently that if you get your paint brushes and you forget to wash them and stuff, soak them in white vinegar and that's supposed to clean them. I'll have to try that and let you know if that works. So now we're going to, well, let, me, let me pick out which gold leaf we're going to use. I think the gold, I think the gold gold. Is it open on that side? Nope. They come kind of twisted together with this little tissue paper or tie. I've, <clears throat> I've watched some uh, YouTube videos. Boy, people do some amazing things with this stuff. Okay. So there's our, there's our gold leaf. Set that over there, we're gonna use that. It's very, very, very fragile. Set that over there. Let's dry this, and we're gonna dry it until it's tacky. It looks, it looks white on here, and when it's ready to go, then it's kind of um, clear. testing it without it sticking to your finger. Patience. I need patience. Alright. I think... I think the 
pretty good. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to take my little, my paper. Now my fingers are sticky, so it's probably going to stick to that. Put that down over it. Take this little flat brush. It's a funny looking little brush. And I'm going to push it down on the butterfly. And just keep tapping it down. You'll see where it's sticking. Okay, now we're going to take it and we're going to gently brush it away. It's kind of like when you're taking your sanding block and sanding the uh, your craft paper off of a project. We'll save that. That's a nice big piece. We can use that on another project. So anywhere that we didn't have um, paint and the, and the glue got through, this gold leaf is going to peek through. Put that over there. Don't turn your blow dryer, your, don't turn your dryer on with this gold leaf on your desk. I have it all over the floor. It's, um, it's glitter's kissing cousin. See that? It is so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it. Let me get it cut, oops. Let me get it cut out. See if I can get this into the tissue paper here and wrap it up. And you don't want that gold leaf on the back of your transfer either. It sticks like the Dickens. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna roll this up, see if we can save it. Okay, so now what we're going to do, it, oh, it is really pretty. I wish I could get it the camera. I don't know if you can see the gold in it or not. Now we're going to cut this little guy out. It's so pretty. Did I say that already? One of the, um, I was watching a YouTube on it, and the man was from Germany, I think, and he was making some steampunk um, decor. It was absolutely, it was fabulous. Um, I tried to check out the company, but they're, they're uh, Euro it's a European company, so they don't ship to the US. But um, it was really, really fun to watch him with it. <clears throat> I just love that we can we can go to social media and look up something you know if you're interested and, and it usually you can learn how to do it right there. I taught myself how to crochet on social media from social from YouTubes. There's little antennae a little tricky. Don't want to cut it off. But these little tiny craft scissors are, uh, they're a godsend. I think I got them free when I ordered some craft paper online.
we're going to add this to our little box frame over here. It's going to look so cute. Fold them in half so those little wings kind of stick up for us. And this is what the back of it looks like. It's just covered with the gold. And if you wanted to leave some of it clear in the back, you could you could go through and scrape some of it off if you wanted to have a, a clear area. All right. Let's put this over here. box frame out. You could do the beetle on this too. I'm choosing not to. And I think, oh, oh that's so pretty. Um, not exactly sure where I want to put these. I think, oh, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try glue dots on this, and see if that works for us. Well, these are so hard to get that little backer off of them. wind chime is chiming. I mean, it poured rain down for an hour this morning. It was, it was really nice. So I'm just putting a little glue dot right on the back. We'll give it a little bit of height too, just a little bit. What else could we make using this gold leaf? You could use <clears throat> any pattern would be really fun to do with. Boy, there has got to be an easier way to get these glue dots out of here. could use more than one of these little tiny glue dots. Now, where do I want this one? Well, maybe up here. Well, going this way. Over there. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. All right. There it is. Look at those bugs, they really stand out, don't they? Now maybe you can see the, the butterfly, the gold in it. Oh, thank you. Christmas would be pretty, yes, it would. Thank you so much. Kind of feels like it does need another little something there. Maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I kind of like to keep things at the odd numbers, you know, for decorating, you're supposed to do odd numbers. But that was fun. You do that with your paint as well. Jane? Oh, great. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much. Um, it really is kind, it really is pretty stunning looking, I think. Um, maybe some of, Maybe some of the gold in like just randomly around the frame would be pretty too. 
Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, gonna just, that was a quick one um, because I, I work today. I'm really tired. Thank you, Jane. Um, but I wanted to come on and, and play with you guys for a little bit. Remember that 30 minutes for yourself. You take care of other people. You do things all the time for other people. Give yourself that 30 minutes. So we will chalk and talk again tomorrow. Yay, it's Thursday. I don't have anything I have to do, but come in here and clean my craft table off again. And so um, if you have questions, drop them in the, drop them below. Um, if you're interested in the apron I made, it's, it's this month's Club Couture. Drop club in the comments and I'll get you information on that, on what that's all about. And until we talk and chalk again, take good care.